What's up guys? Welcome to the Cosmic Academy online video blog. My name is Bo Pericich, Dean of Cosmic Academy, and today I'm going to talk to you about tape saturation. Tape saturation is an effect that has its roots in the analog domain and it stems from tape machines. When you record to tape and the louder you record to tape, it starts to do interesting things to the sound. It adds overtones, harmonics, a subtle compression, pseudo distortion effect, and it's a very cool sounding effect that can add a bit of analog flavor and grit to your sounds. In this example, we'll be using a tape saturation effect on an 808 kick to add upper harmonics to the sound, and therefore make the 808 kick sound a bit clearer on small speakers. And I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone over here because I keep getting asked the same question through email uh, and from my students. And they always say that their, their songs sound really big and really good on systems with uh, subwoofers. However, when they play it on their laptop speakers, all of a sudden the kick disappears and the bass line disappears sometimes. And that's a very common problem. And that's one thing that tape saturation can help you with. It can take that kick that sounds really good on big speakers and also make it sound good on smaller speakers by adding upper harmonics that smaller speakers have a bit of an easier time reproducing. So what I'm going to do is use the logic tape delay, which we can actually modify a little bit. Uh, we're going to get rid of the delay component of it and just keep the tape component of the tape delay. And I'm going to show you how to use that to get a nice saturated effect. So uh, the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to play this. It's a beat I threw together in a few minutes. Very simple. Uh, 808 kicks, some percussion, the, the generic you know, hay sample on the offbeat, and a little synth line. So if you go ahead and replay that on smaller speakers, just take a listen to the 808. I'm going to play it again. So if you have your headphones on or your speakers, just try to play this on uh, your laptop speakers or an iPhone. And I'm going to solo the kick and just, just pay attention to how it sounds with no tape saturation. So now what I'm going to do is load a tape delay effect. And before we do anything, there's a few settings you want to adjust. Dry all the way up, turn down the wet. And this is very important. We're going to turn off sync and we're going to turn the delay time all the way down uh, because again, we're not using the delay component of the tape delay. All we want is that saturation. So when you use this thing as a saturator, there are two main settings that you have to pay attention to. The first one is actually hidden down here. If you click on this triangle on the bottom left of the plugin, you'll see a setting that says distortion level. And this is essentially the level at which this tape delay uh, or the tape component of it will start saturating the signal. So essentially the lower you set this, the more pronounced, the more weight you'll give to the effect. Uh, so you have to pay attention to that. The other thing is you want to mess around with this filter over here. A lot of the times with saturation, uh, in the case of an 808, for example, the way we're using it now, we want the saturated part of the signal, but it also helps to get rid of some of the low frequencies. So we're going to keep the existing sub that we have there and the saturated signal, which we're going to mix in in a second here by raising and lowering um, the wet output, we're gonna, we want that signal, but we just don't want the low frequencies of the saturated signal competing with the original dry signal. So when I use uh, tape saturation in this way to bring out the harmonics in a kick, I always prefer to lay off the low frequencies uh, in the saturated part of the signal. So what I'm going to do, so I'm simply, oh, we have it soloed already, so that's great. I'm gonna hit play, and as it's playing, I'm slowly going to bring up the wet knob or the saturated signal. And what you're gonna to start to hear are those upper harmonics, those upper overtones that really cut through on smaller laptop type speakers. So let's take a listen. Now 
you notice as I introduce more of the wet signal, especially on smaller speakers, that kick now becomes much more pronounced. So as you can see and hear, tape saturation is a great tool that you have at your disposal to ensure that a lot of your percussion, specifically your kick, will translate into smaller speakers. Now some of the other ways you can use tape saturation is on vocals, for example. If you want a distorted, gritty sort of rock edge, this sounds great on vocals. Uh, also, if you're familiar with you know, Kanye, 808, and Heartbreaks, that whole album, he has a very specific, distorted, gritty vocal sound, and you can almost get that effect to the T using the Logic Tape Saturator in the, effect, in, in the fashion that uh, I just used it. So definitely give it a try on vocals. It can often take a very stale-sounding vocal and introduce uh, a bit of grit to it that just fills up the mix a bit better. Also, I definitely suggest using this on guitars. If you listen to the Rolling Stones or pretty much any band from the 60s and you dig that type of guitar sound, using tape saturation on the guitars will definitely help you get closer to that sort of sound. So hopefully this helped out. Uh, if you have any questions about this effect or uh, any other requests for video lessons, I'm always all ears. Shoot me an email, bo at cosmicacademy.com. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.